Have you ever wondered when the absolute best time to start your seeds are? No matter what gardening zone you live in. I had the exact same question. It came from my second year of gardening when I planted most of my vegetables at the wrong times. Because I didn't know, this gave me almost no harvest. I was discouraged, but I knew there had to be a better way. Last December, I spent 30 days and going through over 60 websites, trying to design the best garden planning schedule that worked for anyone, no matter where you lived. In this video, I'm going to show you the Zone 8 garden planting schedule in four easy steps and how to use it as a secret weapon that will evolve your gardening skills. Before we get started, if you are interested in picking one of these secret weapons up, then check out the pinned link in the description. So far, I have made them for zones three to nine. If you live in one of those zones, you're in luck. Goal number one, 35 of the world's most popular. For the first two years of gardening, I would actually go to the nurseries to find out what I could plant in my zone four. If I saw something they were selling, then I knew I could plant it in my garden, but they didn't always have everything in stock. Over the years, I kept the list, and on the left of the garden planting schedule, I put 35 of the world's most popular vegetables in alphabetical order, so anyone could find what they are looking for faster. Plus, it looks cooler. Goal number two, seeing the whole year. I always felt overwhelmed and found that the gardening season crept up on me too fast. Never felt as prepared as I should have been. So I wanted to see the whole year of gardening on this planting schedule. Then you would at least see how many months you have to prepare for your next gardening season. I put in all 12 months on this calendar and the white spots are the areas where you can't grow anything. Most of the time that'll be your winter and the weather won't be right. And you'll be able to visualize how many months you have to prepare for the next gardening season. Goal number three, protecting some plants. When it comes to cool season or warm season crops, they do vary. With kale, it'll taste better with a little frost, but for tomatoes, plants die right away. In Canada, we have a long period of snow and the weather can change quickly. I went through different forums, websites, and took the average last and the first expected frost dates for each zone. Just to warn you, it is an average. Even a few miles away from where you live now could have different weather, so use these frost dates as a reference. When it gets closer to those frost dates, check your local weather daily. At the top, I wrote both frost dates and made both different colors, putting them in the 12-month planting schedule, running them all the way down so you can see it with each vegetable. Goal number four, when should everything happen? Timing is everything in your garden. It just so happens if you wanna get a few harvest out of certain vegetables or to just get the most out of your garden, you have to plant things at the proper times. It's a pretty easy thing to fix. Let me help you. I added red for when you should start your seeds indoors, yellow for when you should transplant outdoors, and green for direct sowing and harvesting. On the 12 month calendar, you will start some of your seeds indoors. For example, tomatoes get started at the beginning of February or within the red, then transplanted outdoors at the beginning of April after there is no chance of frost, and green you can start harvesting your tomatoes. Some vegetables such as spinach can be direct sowed before the last frost date with the green, but bell peppers with the red will start indoors to get a head start and transplant it out in the yellow. And then any vegetables that has two sets of red, yellow, and green means you can start them indoors, transplant them, and harvest them twice in a growing season. I also found rooted crops were really hard to tell when they're ready to harvest. Most of the final growth comes quickly and underground. I've let some beets grow for too long and the flavor and how hard they are changes quite a bit. You want to harvest most of your vegetables at the proper time. On the right, I took the average harvesting days across many seed company websites and seed packages so you'll know around what time you should harvest. So here it is, the final copy after a 50 day design. The idea behind the zone garden planting schedule was that I wanted to find out what I can plant in my zone and when I can plant everything. I designed it to be a 24 inch by 36 inch poster size so you can frame it and use it as a reference anytime you want or even put it on your wall in your grow room. Now that you know the perfect garden planting schedule for any zone, would you like to find out the best seed starting setup that anyone can build? Watch this video next to find out how. Love you, bye.